Hi everyone, Brian Hotzik here with NCSI. Today I'm going to show you how to patch a system with Ivanti Patch for Windows powered by Shavlik. First, we need to be able to find the servers to determine how we're going to patch them. So uh, I find a convenient way is to point at our virtual infrastructure. So you can see over here on the left, I have all of my uh, ESX servers uh, that are connected through uh, vCenter. Um, it shows all the different virtual machines that are running uh, in my environment. I can simply highlight multiple of them or a uh, single one of them, right click on and add to a machine group. Machine group is just a group of machines that we're going to uh, apply certain actions to. So I'm going to add this to my Vertrillo servers. Next, you tell uh, an action to run against your machine group. So I'm going to go in here and click on my Vertrillo servers again, and I'm going to run an action. In this case, I probably want to do something like a scan for the devices. So I want to scan and see what patches are outstanding on it. So here's all the machines in that uh, machine group. I'm going to run an operation against them. Now it's going to ask me things like when I want to run it, is it going to be brought once, is it going to be recurring? Um, in this case, I'm just going to say I want to run it now. I want to run it on all of the Vertrillo servers, and I'm going to go ahead and say scan now. It's going to use the scan uh, patch template called security patch scan, uh, which in my environment just says scan for all. Windows patches and third-party patches. Uh, however, if I wanted to be something particular, uh, I could choose a different option in here. So I'm going to go ahead and say scan now. That is going to kick off the operation and start the scan on all the machines. Once that scan is completed, we are going to go and look at the results of the scan. I'm going to click on view and then machines. This shows me all of the machines that I have scanned for in my environment. Um, and what their outstanding status is. For example, this server right here um, has 24 patches installed. It is missing 116 um, and it's missing zero service packs. Um, I like this little colored indicator here. Green is good, red is bad, orange is service packs. If it's green, it means it's patched. You know, here's a good example of a server that I have that is patched well. Um, and red means I am missing patches. So here's an example of a server that is not doing well. Um, it has 124 outstanding patches. When I click on an individual server, I can scroll down here to the bottom and see the information about it. I can see what potential patches are missing, what patches are installed. When I'm ready to actually apply a patch, I can right click on a machine and I can say to do a deployment of all missing patches. Or for example, if I want to do a certain set of patches, I can highlight them down here at the bottom and choose to deploy. I would just say deploy selected patches or all missing patches. Or I can even do multiple machines. If I highlight several machines up here at the top, right click and say deploy all missing patches. What's going to happen is that's going to open our deployment configuration. It's going to show on the bottom half of the window all of the outstanding uh, patches that is, are going to apply in this case. I can say when I want it to happen, whether it's now, whether it's going to be scheduled at a certain time, whether it's actually going to install the patches and what time they're going to be scheduled for. Up at the top here, this is the deployment template. This is how the main machines are going to be patched. So this is going to control important things like, does the machine uh, reboot after I've installed the patch? Uh, does it re deploy? Does it reboot before I deploy the patch? Uh, should it email the machine owner and give some information about what patches are about to be applied or whether it's going to be rebooted? Um, should it take some snapshots and actually interact with VMware and take a snapshot? Um, ahead of time. So I can choose which deployment template. I have several prefabricated here already, for example, to patch the server with a notification for the machine owner or to do a virtual machine standard patch. Um, when I'm ready, I press deploy machines or deploy machines will reboot. Oh, I need to pick a date. I'm going to say now. And it's going to kick off the patch and reboot those machines when it's completed. Now, this is doing it agentless. Um, if I want to deploy an agent, I can on my servers, but I am not required. This little icon right here indicates I do have an agent on those servers. All my other ones are doing it agentlessly, so uh, no need to install anything on uh, the, the server. It is doing it all automatically remotely without an agent. As soon as the uh, operation is complete, it will show here in our operations monitor. Right now it's giving us the indicator of how many patches are currently being executed, what's happening, and right now it's copying over the files. When it's completed, it will reboot that machine, it will rescan, and it will show up um, as being completed. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please ask them below. Thanks again.